Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are doing a girl talk q and I asked you guys over on my Instagram to send me some of your TMI girl talk questions and we are going to be answering all of them in this video and I'm going to be making a charcuterie board at the same time. So I have a bunch of meats and cheeses that I'm going to be cutting up with you guys and I will show y'all everything that we are using before we get started. But just wanna put a disclaimer out there. If you are are easily offended by like personal conversations regarding anything girly or like TMI girly topics. This video is not for you, so click off of it if that is not your jam. Also, everything that I say in this video is strictly my opinion. I am not a professional on any of these topics. Nothing I say is factual. This is just all my opinion based on my own personal experiences. I feel like we all could use a little bit of girl talk in our lives, so think of this video just as like chatting with your bestie, your girlfriend. So I have all of my meat and cheeses here for my charcuterie board. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what we are using. So first we have this turkey summer sausage. Then we have some beef summer sausage. We got some three cheese onion and cheese blend that we are gonna be cutting up. We got jalapeno cheddar cheese. We got smoked cheddar cheese, yum, yum, yum. Then we got two sauces. We got some sweet hot mustard sauce as well as some cranberry mustard. That sounds so good. And then of course we have some crackers. We got these golden toasted crackers as well as some olive oil and rosemary crackers. And then I also have some grapes. So we got our grapes right here. You gotta have some fruit for your charcuterie board. So we got grapes as well. So that is everything that we are going to be putting on the jacurore board. And I actually wanted to get a Christmas tree shaped board, but all of them on Amazon was gonna take way too long to ship, so I wasn't able to get one. So I'm just using a regular cutting board to put all of it on. But I have all of the questions on my phone, so we will go ahead and get started with the first question. Let me actually get a knife so we can cut our stuff with. I think a little small knife should do fine. We're gonna start off with this smoked cheddar cheese, but the first question, I got a lot of this question and it was how to deal with a breakup, how to cope with heartache, how to move on from a breakup, etc., etc. So I think the number one thing to do when it comes to a breakup is really just focus on yourself. I feel like we all kind of forget that whenever we are going through a breakup, like both parties in the breakup have shortcomings that led to the breakup try to self-evaluate those shortcomings and figure out like what you did to cause the breakup like instead of just blaming that person and focusing on that person and i don't know putting the blame on them you kind of have to like look at your own mistakes within the breakup and just focus on yourself like focus on making yourself better making yourself a better person once you kind of do that and you work on yourself and like you realize what you need to work on then you can just start focusing on your happiness focus on you and what you love like if you did a lot of one thing that you gave up during the the relationship like a lot of us have hobbies that we really enjoy doing and then once we get into the relationship those hobbies are kind of pushed to the side just try and rekindle those hobbies like if you are someone who loves to read and then during the relationship you didn't read as much go back to reading like discover new books and just focus on yourself and your hobbies and really try to distract yourself with the things that you love then also spend time with loved ones like whether that's friends family people who love you people that make you feel loved and make you feel confident try to spend time with them there's nothing wrong with talking about that person after your breakup if you feel like you need to vent or or rant or just talk about the situation there's nothing wrong with that have a good crying session also music i love music i think music helps so much with a breakup there's so many good breakup songs out there just go onto spotify or onto youtube and look up a breakup playlist there are so many out there okay so we have all of our cheeses cut up yum 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 i'm gonna just kind of put 
them to the side for right now. Just know that there are so many other people out there, like the person you are meant to be with is out there. I got a lot of questions about periods, so like, how do I handle my period? How is, what is my period like? Is it bad? Whatever. A lot of questions about periods and birth control. We'll get into birth control as well, but my periods I'm very lucky with. I don't have terrible periods and my periods are like clockwork. I literally get them pretty much the same time every month. They're usually about four to five days long, depending on like how it is that Months. Sometimes it's longer than others. Um, I have very heavy periods. So while they are only four to five days long, they are quite heavy. I typically always get cramps before I get my period. So a few days before my period comes, I'll get really bad cramps like in my lower abdomen as well as my back. And that's kind of how I know that it's coming. If you've never had a period before, I would assume you live with a family member still, whether that's parents, grandparents, and uncles, whoever you're living with. Definitely just have things on hand hand for you to use. When I first got my period, I only used pads. I did not use anything else. So pads are definitely a good thing to start out with just because it's easy and you're not having to like mess with anything down there. So it's just very simple to just stick a pad in there and go on your way. So at least have pads on hand. I know when I first got mine, I was like, oh my gosh, I think I cried. I think I cried. I ran to my mom and I was crying. I was like, oh my gosh, like this happened. I was so scared, but it's really nothing to be scared about. Okay, this was the jalapeno cheddar cheese and it looks really good. So we're gonna put that right there. I'm gonna make everything look pretty once we're done cutting up everything. But yeah, just make sure you have stuff ready to go in case you get it. I would not worry about tampons or anything like that when you're first starting out. I did not start using tampons like at least until a few years after I had had it Someone asked me about a diva cup. I've literally never used a diva cup in my life I feel like diva cups are just really scary I've heard a lot of horror stories about them But I've also heard people have good experiences with a diva cup So I guess it really just depends on you and like what you are into I mean if you want to give it a try I say go for it But personally I would probably not bother with one and if you don't know what a diva cup is it's just like the little menstrual cup i'll pop it up on the screen this is a diva cup and you just stick it up in there and it collects your menstrual cycle collects inside of it and then you take it out whenever it's full so that's what a diva cup is i use pads as much as possible i mean yeah they kind of are gross and sometimes they stink they're not like the most hygienic feeling ever but i feel like at the end of the day they're kind of the best thing to use and someone also asked me like my worst experience with a period and oh my gosh you guys mini story time so i was on my period and i was using tampons <clears throat> during this time and my period had ended and during the time after my period I was having this really weird discharge and it did not smell the greatest a very funky smell and I was like what is going on like I've never had this before and I thought my lady bits was just cleaning itself out I didn't really think anything too much of it and if something like that is happening to you and it's like actually kind of freaking you out go see a doctor okay go see a doctor i did not go see a doctor but if this is happening to you you need to see a doctor i did not do that so do not make the same mistake i did go see a doctor eventually basically an entire month had passed almost my next cycle hadn't started yet at this point but i went to the bathroom and i went number two and i guess the pressure of me pushing pushed a tampon out okay there was a tampon that had been stuck inside me for an entire month you guys oh my gosh it was literally inside me for a month that is why i was having the weird smelly discharge because there was literally a tampon inside me for an entire month and once i pulled it out and <clears throat> Like two days later, my next period had started. And if that happens to you, you need to go get it looked at because you don't know like what that could cause. You're only supposed to keep a tampon inside of you, I think like eight hours tops. Not a good situation to be in. <laughs> that was by far the worst experience ever. I did not use tampons for a few months after that. 
I strictly use pads. Be careful, if you put a tampon inside of you, make sure you remember that it's in there and you take it out. Next question, my boyfriend cheated on me and came back to me saying it wasn't intentional, should I forgive him? No girl, you should not forgive him. Why are you even asking me that? You do not forgive a cheater, I'm just saying. And for him to say it wasn't intentional, that is just a big red flag. Like everything you do is intentional, okay? Like yes, accidents happen, but at the end of the day, when you're dealing with actions like that, that is intentional. He knew exactly what he was doing. You do not need to take him back, girl. Like trust and believe there are more guys out there, I promise. He confessed to you, which is very big of him. At least he confessed, but still, don't take him back because I don't know how old you, you guys are. I mean, he could still grow and y'all could get together later on down the road. But for him to say that it wasn't intentional, it's just kind of like, no, don't take him back. Okay, this is a good one. A lot of people were asking about birth control and like my opinions on birth control. What birth control have I been on? So I've actually never been on birth control in my life. Now, am I saying birth control is bad and that you shouldn't get it? No, I'm not saying that. Obviously, if you are, you don't, you don't wanna get pregnant, of course. If you are being sexually active, you need to do it protected. My intuition has always told me to not take birth control. For me personally, I just do not feel comfortable putting any sort of hormones into my body. There are non-hormonal birth control options, which I will talk about, but I really don't know much about birth control because I've never taken it. All of my friends that have taken birth control, they have all had very negative experiences with birth control. So that's why I just would advise against it. But a copper IUD is non-hormonal, so it doesn't have any hormones in it, which I think would definitely be a good option if you're interested in birth control. But at the end of the day, birth control needs to be a decision made between you and a doctor. I can't tell you not to take birth control because I think that would be very like irresponsible of me to do. Even Okay, here's the thing. Even if you are taking birth control, you need to use other forms of protection if you are sexually active because you have to protect yourself from STDs and from other things that you can possibly contract. So you should never just be relying on birth control to prevent pregnancy and other things. You have to make sure you are doing other ways of protection. So birth control is not the end all be all. And I know a lot of people take birth control for like acne and stuff, but I just don't think that's worth it for all of the hormones that are in it. But like I said, copper IUD does not have any hormones, so that's definitely an option. So I got a few questions on friends with benefits, how to not catch feelings for your friends with benefit partners, and how do I feel about friends with benefits. So honestly, girl, if it was me, girl, I would not be doing no friends with benefits, okay? I just wouldn't. I don't think it's a good idea unless you both are on the same page with each other and you are perfectly okay with coming out on the other side of it as just friends. By all means, go for it. Lots of people do it, but if you're someone who gets easily attached or your feelings easily get like invested then I would say no don't go for it but I just think that is a very messy situation you want to make sure both of you are on the same page y'all have clear expectations a clear understanding of each other and like what you are doing I mean if you are both mature grown adults by all means, like that's totally your decision to do that. I will say this, if you feel like you are starting to catch feelings for that person and that person is not catching feelings for you, you need to cut it off immediately. Don't keep doing what you're doing, cut it off. Okay, next question, how to feel confident in your body? Honestly, body image is something that I have struggled with for a very long time. And I actually used to be a bit heavier than I am now. And I think the best thing that helped me was wearing clothing that I felt confident in, finding outfits that really um, accentuated 
the parts of my body that I liked or just clothing that made me feel good about myself. So if you are someone who doesn't like showing off a lot of skin, don't show off a lot of skin. Don't feel like you have to show off skin because other people are showing off skin. Like I am someone, I do not like going out in public with like super crop tops on, even though a lot of influencers look so cute in their little crop tops and like their high-waisted jeans and that's all they're wearing outside. I think that looks so cute. Personally, I don't feel comfortable going out in that. I have to like have something thrown on over, whether that's like an oversized shirt, jacket, whatever the case may be I just don't feel comfortable going out in that so really wearing things that make you feel confident that make you feel comfortable I think it is all in clothing and what you wear but also working out walking eating healthy like if you are constantly eating unhealthy you're gonna feel bad about yourself like when I have weeks where I am just eating unhealthy all week long it makes me feel worse about my body and it makes me like be way more self-conscious about my body whereas when i am eating right eating the way that i should be eating and i'm having you know only cheat days that i need to have i feel a lot better about myself so just taking care of your body and wearing clothing that makes you feel good about yourself i think those are kind of the key things and drink a lot of water try to not just drink sodas like if you are someone who loves soda try to drink more water if you're someone who loves like lemonade or starbucks or really like sugary drinks just try to incorporate more water into your diet do you ever get ingrown hairs i have gotten an ingrown hair before i don't quite remember like how i dealt with it i think it just naturally went away on its own. Honestly, I don't have a whole lot of like information on ingrown hairs. I would say probably Google it. I don't know. I don't have much help with ingrown hairs. Mine have just kind of naturally gone away on their own. Any beauty tips? So my biggest beauty tip would be less is more. Try not to use so many products on your face. I feel like we are constantly told on social media that we need to have all these fancy products. And at the end of the day, we don't. Don't. <laughs> we don't like we do not need all of these products on our face I feel like less is more all I use is a washcloth I have the magic eraser which is like the, actually have it. hold on let me grab it I have this thing it's literally just like a pink microfiber washcloth this is what I use to take off my makeup with do not use makeup wipes like for the life of me any advice you take from this video, do not use makeup wipes. They are so bad for your face. Do not use them. Like a plain microfiber washcloth is so much better and you can use them over and over and over. So I use my magic eraser to take off my makeup and then to get the rest of my makeup off, I use these like um, what is it called? Let me go grab them. Okay, salicylic acid 2% acne treatment. I use these. These are so good. So I use the microfiber washcloth to take all my makeup off with, and then typically I'll have a little bit of makeup residue on, and I will use these. And then I will use a moisturizer, and that's it. That's all I use on my face. I don't use anything else. I have very sensitive skin, so the more I use on my skin, the more my skin breaks out. So that's just me. I have very sensitive skin. I know there's a lot of people out there who can put a ton of stuff on their face and it's fine. But for me, I can't do that. <laughs> um, what should I do if I like a guy and he's already with someone else? Girl, leave that man alone. Leave that man alone. He is with someone. Any guy you are going after... I, in my personal opinion, it needs to be single. Like, do not go after a guy if he's in a relationship. There are plenty of single guys out there who would love to have a girlfriend such as yourself. You don't need to go after a guy that's already in one. That will just get messy. And I think that's also very disrespectful to the girl that he's already with. Wait until he's out of that relationship because if him and that girl is not meant to be, they will not be, right? Like they will break up eventually and then you can shoot your shot, but don't shoot your shot while he is still with another girl because to me, I just think that's very wrong. If a girl went after my mans while I was in a relationship with him, I would not be very happy. Like try to put yourself in her shoes. Would you like it if she went after your man while you were with him? Probably not. Okay, I'm just, 
laying out my cheeses right now trying to make them <laughs> look pretty i don't really know like what i'm doing right now all right you guys our charcuterie board is officially completed how does she look let me know in the comments what you think of it i'm not gonna lie it's not like the most prettiest charcuterie board ever or the most creative but this is what i came up with and i feel like for it being my very first charcuterie board it's not bad but let me know what you think okay so we'll do today's shout outs and then we will wrap up this video so first shout out goes out out to Soraya Star and she said happy Christmas Daisy I would love to get a shout out in your next video and would really appreciate it love from India and your video really inspires me to try different food I love that so much Merry Christmas to you and then second shout out goes out to Jaden Martin and they said hi I love you so much can I get a shout out please I love you too thank you love you all so much if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up click the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.